supervised. So the white flag has been raised and William O'Sullivan has let them go. So they're off and racing. This is race one. It's a four-year-old mare's maiden, kindly sponsored by Dairy Gold and Pegasus Horse Feeds. And one of the long distance travelers today, it's Madame Mask, who's made the way down from County Down. He's out there leading by five lengths in the early stages, two to one. One of the local cork runners is in second spot. And then there's a break of about seven lengths to the other runners who uh, include up there uh, Angel's Halo, who's along with Nifty Nelly, and then Gronia Cree and Doyen Eve Evening and Getaway Back. So they're making their way to the first of what will be 13 fences. They have a long run to number one, then they jump three fences before the winning post, and then two more complete circuits and five fences per circuit. So at number one of the 13, that's Madame Mask leading from take two to one, who's over in second. These two lead up by about six lengths to the white face showing in third of Nifty Nelly. Further back then, in fourth place is Barry O'Neill in the royal blue and white chevrons aboard Dorian Evening. So away from fence number two, they all take it safely. And that's Madame Mask, who's two lengths in front from the grey horse, take two to one, who's in second. Break then of about seven lengths to Dorian Evening, who's galloping along in a share of third position with Nifty Nelly. After these then, just a slight mistake there in fifth place from Angel's Halo, who in turn is followed by Getaway Back and the Back Marker coming through the lollipop sticks for the first time. Well, that's Owen O'Brien aboard Gronje Cree. Left hand down now as they go into this bend, which is adjacent to the parade ring. Madame Mask has settled the pace and the chestnut mare is just about a length and a half in front now from take two to one. These two remain six to eight lengths clear from Doyen Evening, who's on the inside of Nifty Nelly. And then the next pair, side by side, are get away back with her ears pricked in company with Angel's Halo and then a break of three lengths to Gronje Cree. Over number four. And the seven mares are all jumping nicely at the moment as they go towards the end of the first mile. Madame Mask has now been joined on the level by Take Two to One. So Declan Lavery aboard Madame Mask. Turlock O'Connor on Take Two to One. There's a 10 link break to in third place is Doyen Evening. And Doyen Evening then is tracked by Nifty Nelly for the back in the field on the inside then. Racing Getaway Back. Angel's Halo, and finally, Gronje Cree. Away over the next fence day stream, and the seven runners have completed a circuit now, and make the long run to the fence at the top of the home straight, which will be eight from home. Madame Mask bowls along, three lengths clear. She has a bit of experience under her belt. She leads from take two to one on a second start. That one is three or four lengths down. Still a break of eight to ten lengths to Barry O'Neill, who's in the third spot aboard Doyen Evening. And then Adam Leahy on Nifty Nelly, followed by Ross Sugru and Getaway Back. The two at the back of the field, Johnny Barry aboard Angel's Halo and Owen O'Brien on Gronje Cree. So they entered the home stretch for the second time in this four-year-old mare's maiden. And that's Madame Mask in the front running duties, leads by just over a length from take two to one. Their lead has been whittled a little bit now to possibly five lengths from the chasing pack, which continues to be led by Nifty Nelly and Dorian Evening. So just past the halfway point in this four-year-old mare's maiden and not much to choose on Landy between Madame Mask and take two to one. All the time they're in front to the tune of six or seven lengths from Dorian Evening and Nifty Nelly. So at the fence six out and Madame Mask and take two to one. Close up once again. In behind, their lead has been reduced now to four lengths over Dorian Evening and Nifty Nelly and then a further two and a half lengths to get away back who's on the inside of Angel's Halo. And still last of the seven, sitting quietly at the tail, is Gronje Cree. So there's been precious little change in the order since the start of this contest. Madame Mask and Take Two to One are the pair who have forced the pace. And they drive on now into the back straight with five fences to jump. 
leaving from Dorian Evening, Nifty Nelly, get away back on the inside of Angel's Halo and Gronia Cree. Rising five out, Madam Mask, take two to one, jump it beautifully. They lead up all the time from Dorian Evening and Nifty Nelly, and then just pushed up now to go into fifth place there by Johnny Barry is Angel's Halo, who's getting a bit closer. So they begin to tighten up behind the two leaders. They are Madam Mask and take two to one, facing into the four glass fence. So less than about seven furlongs to cover. Madam Mask take two to one from Doyen Evening as they take this four glass fence. Away from that one and take two to one if anything landed in front for the first time. So take two to one from Madam Mask, right on their tails now. Nifty Nelly and Dorian Evening and then get away back, followed in sixth place by Angel's Halo. And three lengths to the back marker, that's Gronje Acree. We started with seven and as we head into the final five furlongs, all seven are still in the contest. And at the head of affairs, that's the grey... Nose poking out in front of Take Two to One, just in front from Madam Mask. Quietly ridden, a close third is Dorian Evening, followed by Nifty Nelly. Get away back, driven is Angel's Halo. And then in behind these, Gronje Cree. Down they come now to the third last fence. Madam Mask continues to duel all the time with Take Two to One. And these two are not stopping at the moment. In behind, nothing really coming out of the pack. Get away back, Nifty Nelly, Dorian Evening are all being pushed along. As they come now to the second, and last fence and at this one it is take two to one Turtle O'Connor in the lead on the outside from in second place Madame Mask Grania Cree who was last for much of the journey is now making good late headway in third down to the final fence take two to one Madame Mask uh, they both were blundered Grania Cree from closing on seated on O'Brien and it's Madame Mask who finally gets the better of the private battle with take two to one so Declan Lavery Mark O'Hare the journey will be shorter on the way home to County Down tonight as Madame Mask Scores from take two to one a gallon second. Back in third was Nifty Nelly. They were followed home by Dion Evening. Get away back and last of the six finishers was Angel's Halo. The result of the first race, first number 11, second number 19, third number 14. Number six was Ford. 11, 19, 14. Number six was Ford.
the distances were five lengths, four lengths, and two and a half lengths. Five lengths, four lengths, and two and a half lengths.